There's a great book by the psychopharmacologist Ronald Siegel. It's called Intoxication, Life in Pursuit of Artificial Paradise. In the book, he makes the case that all animals, not just human beings, are wired to seek out altered states of consciousness. He calls the desire to get high, to get out of ourselves, the fourth drive after the drive for sex or the drive for shelter or the drive for food. So this desire to alter our consciousness, right, that human beings are so known for is actually part of our DNA. It's part of our constitution and it manifests itself today in what is known Known as the altered states economy, a trillion dollar industry of what human beings pay to feel different, to get outside their heads, what the Greeks called ecstasis. So we're here in a safari, right, in the middle of South Africa, having visceral encounters with the big five lions and elephants and the creatures of our imaginations, the monsters that haunt our dreams, the, the mythical beings of the fairy tales, these 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 creatures of nature that we have somehow mythologized to the point that we forget they're real. I mean, this is the point when reality starts to feel hyper real. And it's so different and it's so novel and it's so beyond the stale reality, the, the mediated comfort zone in which we stay most of the time that when we actually encounter raw nature, we get high. It messes with our brain chemistry, catapults us into the moment. We experience what in virtual reality terms they refer to as presence. We are hurled into the forever box. We are in a state of flow. We feel a sense of selflessness. We feel a sense of timelessness. And all of a sudden, we are in the infinite now. And we pay for that. Whether it's a concert, or a drug, or a trip around the world, or a safari in the middle of Africa, what we're chasing is a gateway to the now. And we're wired for it. And that's why we seek out altered states of consciousness.